Hello, bookworms. Welcome to the Weekend Readers Book Club. Thank you for joining us. In this episode, we are discussing the thriller fiction novel originally released in 2010, released in Japanese and then translated to English, the novel by Kotara Isaka Bullet Train. In this story, we find ourselves on a train. The whole story takes place on a train where multiple people, be it killers or gangsters, wannabe killers or gangsters, and old time retired killers or gangsters come on board and seem to intertwine with one another over a suitcase full of cash their own personal grievances that they may have towards one another, and also the fact that a mob boss is waiting at the very end, awaiting the delivery of the suitcase and his son. We find ourselves following the story of Nano, whose job it is to steal a suitcase. We have characters including Tangerine and Lemon, whose job is to hold on to the suitcase and safeguard the delivery of the mobster's son. We have another gentleman on board, which is called the Prince, who is a school kid who wants to be a gangster. And we also meet a few other players along the way who have interactions with Prince um, on many different levels. They all soon realise that potentially one or all of them have been set up and it is now time to try and formulise a plan to get off this train alive. So I have finished the book and here is my review of Bullet Train by Kotara Isaka. The story itself, the premise of the story, i.e. just being on the train, absolutely loved it you meet our first character as he boards the train and then everybody else is on the train it is a weird story in the sense that there is no main character where the main characters are split somewhat evenly over the five or so gangsters on the train so i found my attachment was swaying a little bit towards certain characters. But then, once completing the book, I came to realise that, well, actually, I did enjoy all the characters' backstories and what happened to them. Each chapter is taken from another gangster's or killer's perspective. Sometimes they reflect back to a time before the train, but the majority of the time it is just capturing what they're trying to do within the train so it makes understanding who's doing what very easy that's what i've enjoyed what i didn't like though is that there wasn't really a main character because as i said all five or so killers or gangsters all had their own story slash job to do they all did it and somehow they all somewhat intertwined, which is fine. But I came away going, I really enjoyed all of them. Not just the one main character or the, the two main characters or whatever it, it should be, say, in a normal story. I came away just feeling flat from it, going, okay, they've all all had their little bits and pieces ran through uh, with their backstories who they are, what they are doing on the train, and then, you know, to finalise it, what happens at the very end. That was good, but I still came away going, damn, I wish there was one character that stood out to me as the main character, instead of putting all, say, five characters that are on the train that you follow on the same level. The story itself was easy enough to follow. As I said, the chapters were broken up, uh, character by character there are some good humorous moments and some good 
humorous character developments, especially Lemon. <laughs> and I will let you experience Lemon for yourself if you decide to pick up this book. Just his way of life and the way in which he interprets life and everything he does. It's very interesting. And also his dynamic with his partner, well, his his um, criminal partner, Tangerine, they play off each other very well. So those two were somewhat my favourite characters, but they weren't the main characters. Um, I feel that, in essence, possibly Nano was supposed to be the main character for the story, but again, I felt that all five got the same amount of, say, read time or air time in the story, where they all seemed as important as one another. I did enjoy the ending with this story. It was very well written and clever how they pulled that off, um, especially with Prince's story, <laughs> um, also with Nano's story, and also what happens when the big boss man, the mobster, decides to hop on the train to come and, you know, collect his son. So overall, as I said, it was an enjoyable read. I wanted more in relation to, as I said, the main character aspect. But from start to finish, it was an easy to follow not so much fast paced, but semi paced, like the first two thirds of the book, very slow. Then the last third, everything seems to pop off. So that once you hit that last third of the book, you sort of just engrossed with it. You want to read what goes on and on and on and on um, till the very end. So it was well paced. Um, but it wasn't as actiony, actiony, actiony as I would like. So overall, the book was good. Will Bullet Train be going onto my bookshelf? That is the question. Unfortunately, not. I am glad I read it. I'm intrigued to see how they pull off this movie because yeah, all these characters are Japanese and we've got Brad Pitt in there, but that's another story. So I'm intrigued to see how the adaption goes from book to movie. And I think that's what I'm more intrigued about after reading the book. If somebody said to me, hey, you've read Bullet Train, would you recommend me reading it? I would say, give it a go. If you like the good fiction, it's not so much thriller, not so much action-y, but if you just enjoy the story about killers on a train, why not give it a go? But yeah, unfortunately, Bullet Train by Kataro Isaka. Unfortunately, you've not made my bookshelf. So as a customs here on the Weekend Readers Book Club, as one book closes, another book has to open. And it is now time to find out what the Weekend Readers and X Read is. And we can confirm bookworms that we will be reading Something in the Water by Catherine Steedman. This book I picked up on a whim at a book fair. Um, the back blurb seemed really interesting, so I'm going to give it a go. I've never read Catherine Steedman before. Um, however, having a look on Goodreads, most of her books are highly rated, so it's going to be you know, enjoyable to go into it with um, clear mind, clear eyes. Uh, with no content that I know of hers to compare to. So Something in the Water is our next read. So Bookworms, that was my discussion and my review of Bullet Train by Kotara Aisaka. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that name. A book that, you know, I did enjoy reading. It, it didn't bore me. Um, it's just something that I wouldn't reread again, so it didn't make my bookshelf. Now, if you do wish to engage with us, you can. You can feel free to follow us on Instagram. We are at Weekend Readers Book Club. Or you can find our podcast available on all podcast providers or YouTube via The Weekend Readers. So until next time, thank you again for joining us. And bookworms, happy reading. <laughs>